The prestigious Grange Surf Life Saving Club, located on Adelaide's metropolitan foreshore, has been active for 50 years and has seen a number of changes during this time. However, nothing compares to the development that is in the midst of taking place on its existing 1962 built club rooms. State-of-the-art facilities catering for the club's ongoing success will consist of normal and existing features, plus several other additions, according to long-time member and current treasurer Heather Thompson. We intend to build a third storey up the top here, which will be just purely for training. Yet with such a large upgrade, it seems difficult to shy away from the problems and not surprisingly, the issue of money seems to take the lead. Mrs Thompson says the cost is rising as the project continues to be delayed. This upgrade at the moment, at today's dollars, is uh, estimated to be $1.8 million. Um, if we have to wait a couple of years, which is quite possible, it could, well, obviously will go up to at least $2 million plus. The club still needs about 60% of the funding from Surf Life Saving SA and the council before the project can go ahead. And the rest comes purely through the club's initiative, which is a difficult task. Unfortunately, the Life Saving Club has no means of income in itself. The only income that we get is through sponsorship and those dollars are hard to come by these days and fundraising. And with almost 800 members the decrease in space is a worry. Right now I'm standing in the Grange Surf Life Saving Club's current training room which is more like a storage space. The Grange members also realise their desperate need of this upgrade and the benefits it would bring. Oh, it's quite exciting for all of us. Uh, I use the gym quite regularly, as you can see. We're doing a bit of iron this morning, and uh, well, the facilities are going to be upgraded, so uh, new machines, the space is going to get a bit bigger. These benefits also extend far and wide, as the local community and Surf Life Saving South Australia will also reap some rewards. More enjoyable things to come and do. Uh, it'll be more modern. It'll add to the add to the local environment. Um, and so, yeah, I think it'll be great. Programs at Grange encouraging the participation of disabled children would also boost surf life saving here in South Australia. You know, having this facility, we'll be able to invite more people like that and encourage them to become involved with surf life saving. While the majority are in favour of the redevelopment, some locals do have their apprehensions. Well, I just think that uh, taxpayers' money could be spent better spent. Um, on our health system. I think the Grange Life Saving Club has pretty good facilities and I think that we can find uh, ways to spend that money um, on other developments. Despite this, the Grange faithfuls are coming together in an attempt to, like Heather said, support the project the only way that they can, through fundraising. Every Friday night, volunteer members give up their time to put on meals for other members, their families and friends. And while they do this through pure kindness and generosity, it is also going to a worthy cause. The money made here on a Friday night is also helping to fundraise the club's development, which shows a strong community and everyone coming together in times of need. How are we going in here, everyone? Hey! <laughs> a bake sale has also been organised, where members and locals have been encouraged to bake their favourite homemade sweets and jams to sell, while a typical Aussie barbecue breakfast has also been put on, with all funds going to this worthy cause. So as we can see, it will be a testing time for the Grange Surf Life Saving Club and its members. However, you can't help but think that with the strong resilience shown so far, they will pull through and receive the funding needed for the club's redevelopment. And this will be sure to promote further success for the Proud Club. Ashley Ebert, Adelaide News.